to the lowest set, uh, by, uh, by 51. Uh, to the bigger caliber. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're probably like the same size as bullet, but they're much longer cartridge. Uh, much more, much more power to them. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the bastard son will pop the clock to feed himself and family. Hold up guns for you guys, it's always set to fire. So all you gotta do is just take aim and simply press the trigger whenever you're ready. Press or pull? Dude, that's how people play the shoot. Depends on what, uh, what area you're going to shoot at. I use it interchangeably, on it means the same thing, basically. Like I want to hit the, the middle center target. Yeah, so when you try when you try to shoot over here in particular, uh, honestly, just pick, like I said, you're loaded and ready to go, so just focus on what you got in front of you. And just the pass. All right, so right there in the chest, see on the left side? All right, so you go ahead, adjust it. You got ten, uh, you just shot two, you got ten rounds up. Yeah, so there you go, so the, on the upper left. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. It's not very strong. But, however, it's not the recoil you worry about. It's more like how much control you have in the front over right uh, here. Because I'm holding it on full auto, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you're not going to be holding it the entire duration. No, you're going to be pressing first. for like a second first. So when you press it for one second and let go, it shoots about two bullets at a time. Yeah. Okay. So what you're going to do, keep it firm. Like, oh, like, so, how close to this? How close to this? I should, I should hold it close. I should hold it like, we're gonna grab a rifle. Right. 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 You can come up close, just like that. See how close my face is? Alright, so you can do that. You can ever focus inside of here. Yeah. So, once you have that gap, yeah. practice for the one second to the first. Or, you know, press it for one second, and then let like, go of the trigger. Out. So that's gonna be your best way to kind of like determine where you're aiming one, where you're aiming that, and two, whether you can find it. So let's go ahead, uh, let's, uh, uh, go ahead. I just need this here, 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 Yeah, you got to get jammed, or you can't. 
Shots go from here to here, and that's what happened. Okay. I want you to do. So what's easier? What's the, what's the more better? 
Honestly, it's whatever you're comfortable with. Awesome. So that's the thing. So remember though, I want you to push forward into this thing. You want to keep it pretty much pressing against the table over here. Yeah, keep just like push push it forward as well. As as you're fine, you're fine right there. So if anything, I hate when somebody's whole magazine ready? is it like yeah. jamming up, you know. Like, you want to hold it longer so that you can actually hold it up to the how smoother is that for you? Very smooth. Okay, let me check that real quick there. Go ahead. There you go. And it goes by very... The first one over here is a 223 caliber. Um, it's almost the same si size as a 5.56 millimeter, like NATO standard. Unfortunately, you can't shoot the uh, you can't shoot 556 out of a 223 barrel because uh, there's, there's a little bit of, there's uh, uneven measurements with them. Not to mention the pressure over here will be a lot different. Um, 556 are meant for heavier heavier loads. 223s not so much. The 762 uh, by 39 is uh, pretty much a standard AK size round. So that's the one you'll be seeing out of most AK 47s uh, being shot along with the RPKs and whatever whatever other like uh, uh, AK variants there are. And the last one? The last one over here is a 762 by 51 NATO standard. Otherwise, we, uh, we also measure as a 308 caliber. Now, for these ones, they have probably the most kick out of all those standard rifles we have over here. Uh, you know, when you, uh, if you ever see a scar heavy in action, it's got a lot of kick and it's got a lot of loudness to it. So you know how you felt a little light blast in the air every yeah. time you shot your guns? Yeah. You're gonna feel this standing behind the person shooting it. Uh, so that's how potent this thing can be. So wow. it just puffs at you. Wow. So very, very potent rounds over here. Thank you very much. Oh, thank You're you welcome. Very much. Yes, John, what are these shells? Okay, so the first ones we got here belong to the M4. We were shooting 223 caliber. The M4 can actually shoot both 223 and 556 millimeter. The next set over here belong to the RPK and the AK-47. That's a 762 millimeter by 39. So that one has some kick to it. It's a little bit more stout than the uh, 223 cartridges. Last but not least, Nine millimeter shells for both for the pistols and for small submachine guns like the Uzi and the MP5. Thank you very much. You're welcome.